Now you can make these kind of 3D product animations easily in After Effects without using any third party plugin. You don't need any kind of 3D software. You can create these kind of animations directly in After Effects using the new advanced 3D feature. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I'm in After Effects and in this tutorial, we are going to particularly focus on this scene because it's a little bit tricky and there are a lot of things that you will learn. But if you want to learn the full animation from start to end, then I have uploaded a full advanced tutorial on my Patreon page where you will find this tutorial along with all the other advanced CGI and VFX tutorials that are available. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's continue. So in order to create this animation, you first need the latest version of After Effects because this feature is not available in the older version. So I'm using the version 25.1. So make sure that you have the latest one. And once you have this, you need a couple of things. So first we need the 3D model. So I downloaded them for, from Sketchfab. So this is the juice bottle. It's completely up to you. You can use any product you want. I'm using this one. So shout out to the studio for making this available. You can just download it by clicking over here. And after that, you can either use the GLTF or GLB file, or you can also use OBJ file. Just click on download link and you will have your file. Along with this juice, I am also going to use this orange, which will help us to really make it more interesting. So you can download it again from the website. And also I'm going to use this flower, which will add a little bit of nice touch to it. And in order to light our scene, we are going to use an HDRI. So for that, you can go to polyheaven.com slash HDRIs. And from here, you can pick any HDRI. Just click on whatever you want to download and make sure you are using the EXR format and the resolution you can choose whatever you want and then just click on download once everything is downloaded you can import them in after effects and you are ready to go also i'm using this sky texture which i downloaded from unsplash it's completely up to you, you can use whatever kind of background you want so once you have everything first we will begin by creating a new composition let's call this one main width and height will be 19 20 by 1080 frame rate it's up to you and duration i'm going to set this to 30 Perfect. So once you're done with this, we have to change one more setting. Go to 3D render and make sure that you have selected advanced 3D. If it is classic 3D or cinema 4D, just make sure that it is set to this. If you have older versions, you won't have this option. So just update it. After that, click on OK. So here we have our composition. First, let's import our sky. So I'm going to just drag it over here. It's quite big. So let's just make it smaller around. This looks good maybe a little bit right perfect so here we have our sky and now let's import our 3d model so let's import the juice bottle so you can directly drag these inside your after effects like that and now you can see we have this bottle and it's actually 3d so if i press r and rotate it you can see we can rotate it however we want so once you have this we are going to first scale this down let's place it around here we are going to first animate this only so i want this bottle to come from bottom and like spin and then go back it's completely up to you can make it come from whatever direction you want and you can animate it however you like so let's pick a nice angle so let's just play around with it so i think this looks good to me and now we can play around with its position so let's press p for position and i'm going to like move it just a little bit up now we can add keyframe for position let's press r let's add keyframe for rotation and let's press u we can move these keyframes a little bit ahead because in the beginning we want this portal to be down below like that and also we want the rotation so i'm going to like just set this to a little bit more negative and this one we can make it a little bit positive so if i press play you can see we have this portal spinning up again we can make it like a little bit extreme if you want you can also add a little bit of z rotation like that so i'm happy with this animation now in order to make it a little bit more impressive what we can do is we can select all of these keyframes press f9 and before we do the graph tweaking we can add the ending keyframe where the portal goes down but we want it to spin in the same direction so you can see it is spinning like that so all we have to do is so this is going from negative to positive so we can increase this value so that it keeps on spinning and this one as well let's check this is going from negative to positive as well so we can increase this value as well and we can maybe decrease this one now we can move it a little bit ahead so that we can preview so i think this looks good to me and the bottle is moving 
perfect once you're happy with this again select everything press f9 to ease them let's go to the graph if your graph looks different make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph i'm going to select them and for the easing part we basically wanted to like shoot up very quickly then like rest in the air a little bit and then go back so for that settings we are going to change the graph to look like this so it's shooting up really fast like that and then it slows down and goes here then again it starts moving very slowly and at the end it is moving very fast like that so here we have the keyframes now we have to play with the timing so i think somewhere around here looks good and at the end we can move these keyframes like this so let's see so here we have the juice bottle and maybe a little bit more so now if i press play you can see our juice bottle is going up and at this point you can see it stops a little bit and then it comes back we actually wanted to have a continuous motion so for that we can play around with the rotation so just select any of these rotation axes i'm going to select the x1 then select this keyframe then right click and select the keyframe velocity make sure that this is checked click on ok now let's go to the graph editor now over here we can select these two keyframes in the middle and just lift them little bit up not much like that so now if i press play you can see our juice bottle will not stop and it will have this very nice and continuous motion so now we are done with the juice animation let's just light our scene little bit nicely with our hdri so for that we need a light so right click new let's add a light and under this we can change this to environment light make sure that cast shadow is on let's click on ok now we won't be able to see anything because we need an hdri so let's drag this hdri which i downloaded and if i drag it you can see we are able to see it but we don't want to actually view it so i'm going to just hide that under the light settings we have this option from where we can select this hdri and right away you can see it will add some really nice lighting in our scene here you can see now we can press r to play around with the angle of light so now this is completely experimental you can like make it appear however you want so i think this lighting looks good to me now we are ready to add some supporting elements which will really enhance our animation you can see that still the frame is looking very empty so we can add some oranges and lilies so let's drag the orange just like that and you will notice that its anchor point is over here but the orange is over here so in order to fix that you can hold on the control key and or the command key on mac then double click on the span anchor tool now it's in the center now we can easily move it down into our scene and it's actually 3d so we can place it wherever we want now let's move it somewhere around here and also you will notice one more thing if i move it closer you can see we are able to see the shadow of this onto this juice box but in case you are not able to see that then you can go inside the rendering option and make sure that this option just click on this option so that it will make it to the scene now you will be able to see them so now I'm going to place it somewhere around here and let's import our lily flower as well like that. So again, its anchor point is not in the center. So you can hold on the control key and double click on this. So now it's in the center and we can again move it however we want. Let's press R and I'm going to like rotate it so that we can place it nicely. I think this looks good to me. So once you have this, we basically want this to have a bunch of different copies in 3D space. So for that, we can change the view to top view. Now here you can see we are able to see everything. So I'm going to first select this, press Ctrl D and just randomly click and just place it wherever you want. We can place one close to this. Again, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Let's place one over here. Press Ctrl D and let's place one right at the back. Again, press Ctrl D. So we are basically moving them randomly now i am happy with this we can add more later on as well so for now let's focus on this lily and again the same thing duplicate it and just place it at random locations so now i have added bunch of different copies let's go back to the active camera and we have everything but you can see all of these are like aligned perfectly so we can move a couple of them like down and some of them up just to add a little bit of variations so now we have a bunch of different copies now also let's randomize their rotation as well so just randomly rotate them here and there so now i am happy with my scene and before we start animating we need to have a camera so for that layer go to layer and let's create a new camera and i'm going to use this 35 mm so just click on ok 
Now let's add a null object as well so that we can control it. So right, let's create a null object and make it 3D, parent the camera to the null like that. So now we can select this null and we can, if you want, we can control it nicely and we can move around the scene. So if this is something that you want, then you can do that as well. But for this one, we are going to only rotate all of these elements instead of moving the camera. So once you have everything, let's create one more null so that we can parent all of these objects to that. So let's pick all of them and let's parent this to the null. Also make the null 3D. Now let's select the null object. Let's press R and we can rotate the Y rotation. And right away you can see all of these are moving. So let's add a keyframe for Y rotation and let's go to the point where we have our animation. So let's select the juice box, press U. So let's go to this point and I'm going to let's rotate them to this direction like that. Now let's select the keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph editor and I'm going to make it to look like this so that it starts very quick and then it moves like that. So maybe if this is too quick, then we can like lower this down. We don't want to have this much of rotation and we can move this even further like that so all of these are moving perfectly fine so once you're happy with this we can also animate them like moving up so for that let's select them and let's press p for position let's go to somewhere around this point where we have our bottle and let's add keyframe for their position now let's go to the beginning and i'm going to just move them down below like that we don't want them to like completely out of this frame so somewhere around this looks good now we can select these keyframes press f9 and let's do the same easing so now if i press play you can see all of these are coming up nicely and then if you want you can like move them back as well just copy these keyframes and just paste them like that now you have to play with this easing as well so now if i press play you can see all of these elements will come up and then they will go down like this now our background is very static so we can have little bit of animation over there as well so let's select the sky and or you can either use the null as well so let's press p and let's add keyframe for position let's go to the beginning and we can move it like little bit down like this so let's select this press f9 and let's change the curve so now when I press play, you can see this will move as well. Let's make the sky 3D as well. And now it will be very close to our scene. Let's press P and we can move it like way behind like that. Let's press S and let's just scale this up nicely. So now you can see we have this very nice motion in the sky as well over here down below so let's copy the first keyframe and just paste it and also let's move this one somewhere around here don't forget to change the easing so now if i press play here you can see we have this final animation in which all of these elements are coming up and then they go down like this so once you have everything you can make it like a little bit more nice by simply adding a lens flare so let's right click let's add a adjustment layer and on top of this let's search for lens flare let's drag it onto this and you can pick whatever you want let's pick 35 mm and i'm going to place it at the very top and let's add a keyframe for its animation so let's add a keyframe over here and till this point we can make move it across our scene like that so there you can see we have this very nice lens flare you can also change its blending mode let's set this to screen if you want your scene to be like a little bit bright but it's completely up to you for this one i'm going to set this to normal instead we can add another adjustment layer let's add one more and on this one we can apply curves and just play around with its settings so we can make it like a little bit bright and let's have a little bit of contrast so here you can see it looks 
nice to me now everything looks good but still you can see all of these elements are like very sharp we only want to focus on this one so we can have little bit of depth of field in our shot so for that you can use a 3d depth map extractor then pair it with cc camera lens blur effect but i tried that and the result was not looking that good so there is a workaround for that we can create an adjustment layer so let's go to like that and let's add an adjustment layer and on top of this we can apply gaussian blur like this and let's just increase the amount so everything will be blurred but we want our juice bottle to be focused now there are two ways in which you can fix that you can either move this like completely on top of this so now if i press play you can see we have this juice bottle in focus and everything is like behind this but there is one small problem you will notice that right now this orange was supposed to be like in front of this but now it has gone back so since this layer is on top of everything so nothing will go or pass in front of this so in order to fix this what we can do is we can move it like where it was so now you can see the orange will pass in front of this which gives us a really nice effect so i'm going to select all of these layers that i need to pre-compose so i need this choose box and then we need this environment light and this one so i'm going to duplicate them so that we have two copies of each of them and i'm going to select all of these three layers then right click pre-compose let's call this choose box and make sure move all attribute is set just click on ok now on top of this we can apply a effect called set mat and let's drag it onto this choose box and let's move them let's keep it over here and you will notice the suddenly the light has changed because we have to pair it back to the this light so let's set this to the hdri now we have everything back into our scene if i go over here you can see already the light is linked to the hdri so make sure that this is selected and once we have this on the set mat effect we can basically select this orange which we have over here so let's just pick this one so it's this layer which is number 18 so on this one under the set under the set mat layer we can select the orange number 18 so now you can see it won't be visible but if i set this to invert you can see now it is in front of our scene now we want to get rid of the blur onto this as well so for that we can just move it like on top of everything like that maybe we can place it below this these two layers so that it is affected by this so this is how you can create these kind of 3d product animations directly in after effects now in the same way you can create this first and the last scene as well the basics are pretty much the same but if you are interested in learning that as well so i have uploaded the full tutorial on my patreon page where you can go and check out this tutorial along with all the others advanced cgi and vfx tutorial as well and also the tutorial project files is also available on patreon so you can check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Bye.